After the U.S. had taken Mount Suribachi, rather than seek cover, the brave soldiers put their lives at further risk to raise the proud American flag on the mountain in what has become an iconic image. And in that image are the shadows of all of those who had given their lives for that moment. On Iwo Jima and battles throughout our history, the American flag is inextricably and deeply linked to the lives of those who fought for it and all it represents, but never came home. me often say that this is my favorite day in Hopkinton. How could it not be? This is pure Americana. Right now, right now, all over this great nation, just like us, people are coming together to pay their respects to those who made the ultimate sacrifice that allow us to be free. Memorial Day is another truly American holiday designed for us to put our political and social ideologies and to dismiss our petty differences and just be thankful and pray and reflect on those who stood in harm's way to ensure our safety. Celebrating Memorial Day every year reaffirms our faith in our nation and way of life. On this day, as always, we pause at monuments and plaques in our town that serve as physical reminders of this day and its meaning. These memories and emotions that define this day hopefully will be passed on to those who follow us. Honoring the dead brings people closer than any other event in life, sharing grief and remembrance of those we have loved and respected. And by honoring those who gave all, we give new life and a rebirth to our American ideals and patriotic feelings. May the souls buried here in Hopkinton feel the love and appreciation demonstrated by our community as we gather here on Memorial Day. God bless America and Semper Fi.
today's ceremony. My name is Tessa Pagney, I am a senior at Hopkinton High School, and I am today's Master of Ceremonies. I am joined, joined by select board members John Catino and Brendan Tedstone, as well as Fire Chief Steve Slammon. We are grateful for each of you being here today. Memorial Day is not just a day off from school or work or a nice long weekend. Memorial Day is a time for us to come together to show gratitude to the men and women who have given up their lives so that we can enjoy our own in peace. It is hard, probably impossible, for us to wrap our heads around the immeasurable sacrifice that these people have made. It is hard to imagine what it means to serve or to fight in a war, what it means to leave your family for months at a time, what it means to see your own brothers and sisters die in combat, and to eventually give your own life for your country. However, we can start to picture how unbelievably immense that sacrifice is when we look around at the peace we have in our country and the multitude of blessings we have in our own lives. It is all thanks to those who have served or given their lives in defense of the United States. We will never be fully able to repay the debt that we owe them, but we can start by honoring their lives and their sacrifices today and every day. The Hopkinton High School Band will now play God Bless America.
We will now hear the Gettysburg Address, recited by Hawkinton High School Junior, Lizzie Gross. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives so that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we do so. But in a larger sense, we cannot consecrate, we cannot dedicate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who have fought here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little know, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to the cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion, that these dead shall not have died in vain, and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. We will now have remarks from select board member John Catino. Good morning. I first want to thank the Veterans Committee for hosting this event and all the volunteers that work so hard to make this a success every year. And mostly I want to thank all of you for coming out this morning. Many of you have heard me often say that this is my favorite day in Hopkinton. How could it not be? This is pure Americana. Right now, right now, all over this great nation, just like us, people are coming together to pay their respects to those who made the ultimate sacrifice that allow us to be free. Memorial Day is another truly American holiday designed for us to put our political and social ideologies and to dismiss our petty differences and just be thankful and pray and reflect on those who stood in harm's way to ensure our safety. We live in an amazing country, and in this vibrant, welcoming community, endowed with open space, natural resources, facilities, and programs, promoting a well-educated and healthy community. We are admired all over the world because of our American spirit that comes from our virtues of fair play, sharing, giving, and love. My daughter just got back from a school trip to rural China, where she said complete strangers would come up to them asking if they could just have a picture with an American. Great people have come before us, setting a bar of excellence by their hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. And we cannot, we absolutely cannot let their work and their sacrifice be in vain. We must bring our town and our country together, working to ensure that the next generation and future generations exude the same virtuous American spirit that makes us the envy of all the world. Thank you to all of you, and God bless all of you, and God bless our great nation of America. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Catino. The Hopkinton High School Band will now play America the Beautiful.
keynote speaker, Marine Corps veteran and chairman of the Hopkinton Veteran Celebration Committee, Mike Whalen. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Those of you who know me are aware that I'm a man of few words, and I don't want to wreck that reputation today. I will endeavor to be thoughtful and get to the point. First, let me identify those of the next generation that are participating in this event this morning. The Hopkins High School Band, aren't they great? Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, the Cub Scouts, the Brownies and the Daisies. They're a big part of today's ceremony. Over there at the ready to raise a flag at noon is Sarah. And here with me on the gazebo is Liz and Tess. Of course, our honorary flag bearer, Scotty Mackin. Of course, we know they are the future of our civilization. And to be sure, today's ceremonies will someday have an impact on their attitudes and their decisions in their journey through life. It is reassuring to me, and it should be to you, that these young minds assembled here this morning will remember this day and the respect and gratitude that we are showing will become part of their childhood memories. This indeed is a cherished honor for me, not only to speak at this gazebo on Memorial Day, but to represent all the Hopkins veterans, both past and present. As the years go by, we become even more aware how precious life is and the tremendous impact a life cut short can have on a family. Memorial Day has been become a part of the healing process where the community gathers to collectively mourn and remember those who gave their lives in our defense. As we pay homage today to our departed brothers and sisters, we are so grateful for the support and attendance of the Hopkins community. It is very comforting and a welcome sight to see all of you here assembled on the common as we parade up Main Street. On the days leading up to Memorial Day, one is blessed to witness a visitor to a family plot in the cemetery, maybe planting or watering flowers, cleaning the stone, or even talking to the stone something I do myself. When you see some of the dates carved in these stones and the short lives, you might wonder what could have been. Memorial Day should and ought to have a significant meaning for all Americans, regardless of your politics or your religious beliefs. One certainly has to be respectful and admiring of those who are willing to die for a cause they believe in. Maybe not a popular cause or even a belief held by the majority, but a personal conviction held by that individual. This is the time and the occasion we pause to become conscious of our past and acknowledge the men and women who gave their lives defending our country. A country committed to battle evil in this world a country founded under the principles of basic human rights. A country where each grave of a fallen soldier may also represent the family and the children that never were. It is said you become a man when you bury your father, and you become a gold star parent when you bury your son or daughter who is defending their country. This is truly the ultimate sacrifice. Celebrating Memorial Day every year reaffirms our faith in our nation and way of life. On this day, as always, 
we pause at monuments and plaques in our town that serve as physical reminders of this day and its meaning. These memories and emotions that define this day hopefully will be passed on to those who follow us. Honoring the dead brings people closer than any other event in life, sharing grief and remembrance of those we have loved and respected. And by honoring those who gave all, we give new life and a rebirth to our American ideals and patriotic feelings. May the souls buried here in Hopkinton feel the love and appreciation demonstrated by our community as we gather here on Memorial Day. God bless America and Semper Fi. Thank you, Mr. Whalen. Please stand by for the gun salute, followed by the playing of taps. The high school band will now play the national anthem as the flag is raised. Feel free to sing along.
ceremony. Your presence helps show our never-ending gratitude for those who defend and sacrifice for our great country. You are all invited to St. John's Parish Center on Church Street for beverages and a light lunch. Thank you.